All right, guys, it is a foggy morning here. The banks of the Atchafalaya River in the middle of Louisiana on this muggy, it is a Tuesday morning, March 28th, 2022, I believe. So I am heading out of here to the great state of Texas. The great state of Texas, and uh, before I go, I just, I just have to share this uh, endearing letter. This is the letter that my niece wrote to my cousin, my cousin's uh, ex-husband died uh, yesterday. Well, they never got divorced. It was kind of like Lulu and her uh, abusive husband, although Lulu was more abusive to her, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, so they never got divorced, although they didn't speak in 20 years, so this uh, creepy motherfucker finally did the uh, planet a favor and croaked a couple of days ago. And this is uh, the letter of condolence from... <laughs> from my niece uh, to my cousin. <clears throat> Take it away. <clears throat> I know you are still processing Joe and the emotions may be totally confusing, but I have never been one to shy away from the direct truth. So here I am to tell you the good news. Ding dong, the dick is dead. He caused you so much torment and anguish in your life, and his grasp on you has been lifelong. From my point of view, it's time to celebrate. He will never have power over you again. He will never be able to strike fear in your heart with the mere sound of his voice. You are free. And better yet, you are apparently rich. Smiley face. <clears throat> so, through your maybe tears, let's take a moment to celebrate the fact that you outlived that motherfucker, and now you get to enjoy your remaining days with a safe and full heart and bank account. Love you forever, Jessica. <laughs> oh, Lord, uh, good old Jessie. She does tell it like it is, kind of like her uh, Uncle Hambone. Anyway, I gotta stop dilly dallying and uh, get this rig back on the road to Texas. I ought to be crossing into that Texas line in about two hours. Bye, guys.